Aha, aha, ha, ha, ha. Good morning, birdies. Good. This is the early morning edition of Good Morning Birdies. This October fifth. Um. It, it's early morning because you know people. You guys don't believe me. When I've I've become an old man. I've become an eighty year old man. I uh, because I go to I do you know. I, I go to sleep, I tell folks all the time, like 8.30, 9 o'clock, and I'm up at 5, 5.30 in the morning, and they're like, what do you do that early in the morning? And I, there's plenty of things for me to do early in the morning. I, I, I do I do work. I do work in a nice, peaceful, quiet environment. I, I can, you know, catch up on my own work. I can work on my music, or, or I'm still putting my photo books together, or work on client stuff, and then maybe still afford myself maybe a, a longer lunch than most people who have a set time for their job, you know, can allow themselves. So, uh, that and the fact that, you know, at, at 43 years old, I, I realized too that if I even allow myself the option of, of staying out, you know, well, just stay out and have a beer. Yeah, a beer becomes three beers, and a shot becomes eight shots, and getting to sleep at 11 p.m. becomes getting home at 3 o'clock in the morning, and then my entire whole day. So, you know, like my friend Jeffrey said, it's not like I, I have to. It's just, it is a choice, and, and a smart one, but but it's just the, there is a downside to that, which is as uh, uh, my friend Lisa, who's my friend's daughter, who, you know, who came in to visit her dad and her family and they went to her dad's barn on Saturday night and I was supposed to go hang out with them. I had every intention of doing so, but my clock, you know, the sand granules were, you know, the last of them were dripping out of the hourglass for me and my body's like, I'm, I'm ready for, for bed. It's, it's like being, you know, one, two, three o'clock in the morning for most other people. Um, and so for those of you who don't believe me, yeah, here I am, uh, 4.30, 4.43 a.m. I've been up for like 20 minutes, earlier than usual, actually. I went to sleep extra early. I was very upset. Uh, <laughs> someone just, someone pissed me off, and I, I don't, I, I choose not to air my dirty laundry on Facebook. Uh, and and in general, I, I, it's odd when other people do it, all, as cryptic as they, as they may be, and I'm probably being cryptic. Now you know there's there's one thing to to make a, you know an error you know and in, in judgment you know briefly but there's another thing to have a complete lapse of judgment on on every level with immediate and long term effects that are detrimental not just to you but to other people to me that's an ex well it's inexcusable especially when your defense is well well everyone else does it and and that argument winds up being faulty too but you know it's just and then well don't yell at me and I'm like I'm I've said too much already that suffice it to say that that's that's the kind of thing that tells me much more about a person in general um, and yeah and so I, I had to differ this person I, I it seems kind of harsh but do you know you get older, you have to purge people who are unnecessary or detrimental to your life in general. And so I had to defriend this person. Um, and then I had to defriend someone else who's a decent enough person. You know, like one of these random people that you just meet randomly. And and they have, have a nice conversation. And then like, oh, you're on Facebook? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. Well, here, find me on Facebook. Yeah, I find him on Facebook. And... And I've had no interaction with this person for a year and a half, and all they do is just keep sending me invites to play poker or Mafia Wars or silly things like that. And I'm like, oh, you know, but has yet to actually try to stay in touch. She lives, yet she, she lives a block away, and she's like, oh, you know, and once she's like, I'll come by and visit maybe. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. And she's a friend gatherer. You know, these are people who just friend people so they can sit there and brag. She's got like 1,500 friends. So I don't think she'll miss me, and I won't miss her. I shouldn't be this bitter. See, and Monday's my day off. This is my Saturday, so I actually get to go do things. So I'll probably do some food blogging later this afternoon. While Mother Nature is still being kind to us this uh, this uh, fall, autumn season. Um, but back to my original point, I do digress on these things. I, I've been accused of that yesterday, and I, I realized that I do. 
I'm not like I have a little synopsis or outline of what I'm going to say exactly, just a general idea. But my friend Lisa, I, c I couldn't go to her party Saturday night because, it, you know, she's celebrating her birthday, and today is her birthday, and her twin brother, Michael, who's, I have extra respect for because he's, well, I respect both of them. She's very much into musicals as I was, and so I find that endearing, and Michael's very much into photography, and what you guys know is also a favorite, passionate hobby of mine. And they're twins, and, and today's their birthday, so happy birthday to Lisa and Michael. Happy birthday to Darcy, who I think... <laughs> I think also epitomize. Well, I, I, Darcy's the unique, special girl who I loved, and we used to. Actually, I don't know if I worked at Dorian's when she worked there, but we were close friends, and she's typical. Like, we were very, very close friends. That I would. I don't, I don't know if I. Well, when I talk about my commitment phobia, she's she's the physical example of what I'm like, where. I chased her for a long time, sort of with her, and she had a boyfriend, and she didn't have a boyfriend, do you know, uh, there's that old saying, if you want a girl to fall for you, you have to be there for her to catch you, this kind of thing, and, and then eventually, do you know, I, well, let's say I caught her, and then, and then I'm, then I'm like, ah, okay, this is what I asked for, and now I have it. And now I don't know what to do, so I kind of r ran away. I, I just, she probably doesn't need all that, and she probably has a boyfriend now. But uh, that being said, a little insight about me. Once again, an example of what I'm talking about on these, these rants. Uh, she's still a great girl, and she's a very talented uh, actress, too, and, and beautiful Susan Sarandon eyes, and, and, and sweet, and I'm glad we stay in touch. So, Darcy, happy birthday to you to anyone else's birthday. Oh, my boy John Winkler, part of the old school crew, uh, Malibu's entourage, so to speak. Uh, so, John, if you're around this week, old man like myself, let me know. And if you're out before 8 o'clock at night, I'd like to buy you a drink and a shot, at least one. So, um, that's it for the birthday wishes. I am going to watch something off of Hulu, uh, probably, uh, or some things for the next couple of hours figure out what I'm going to have for breakfast over the next two hours. Um, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. So this old man is signing out. Mwah. Ciao for now.